Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, very excited today to talk to you about a very interesting project called Ribbon Finance. They're doing something extremely unique in this industry that just so happens to give a very high yield on single assets. Uh, so I can't wait to explain how you can get involved if you're interested. Before we get into that, I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, and then hit the bell if you want notifications on all my new videos. And I also do want to quickly highlight again that the DeFi Innovation Chat is still open. Uh, so if you're interested in joining, just click the link below. I think the community will be very welcoming um, and we're happy to help in any way that we can. Jumping right into it, Ribbon Finance is just one of those innovative projects in the DeFi space that really is democratizing finance and then opening up these new financial products to anyone. If you're not familiar with Ribbon Finance, uh, what it essentially allows is for users to pool their finances on the protocol and then sell covered call options against ETH, WBTC, or covered put options on ETH. Now, if you're not familiar with how options work, I'm going to link this Investopedia article below, uh, but I'll run through really everything you need to know at a high level. But again, always do your own research and this is not investment advice. So essentially an options contract is an agreement between two parties to grant somebody the option, but not the obligation to purchase an asset for a specific price by a specific date. So a great example of this would be with the price of Ethereum. So let's just assume that Ethereum is trading at $4,000 right now. Now, if I was bullish on Ethereum, I could purchase an options contract with a strike price of say $4,500. This price point would have a date attached. So you could say that by December 1st, Ethereum has to hit a price point of $4,500 for my option to be valid. Now let's assume that by December, Ethereum hits a price of $5,000. Because I purchased that options contract, I essentially have the right to purchase Ethereum at $4,500, even though it's now worth $5,000 on the open market. Now, for any optionality in the market, you're going to have to pay a premium for that. So to purchase that option, I'm going to pay what's called the option premium. This varies based on the asset and how much volatility the asset is seeing. Um, and there's really a lot more I could go into, but I just don't have the time in this video. Uh, so if you are wondering more, again, you can do some research online. I'll have some links below, or you can ask questions in the innovation chat, of course. So how does this all apply to Ribbon Finance? Well, keeping all of that in mind, right now Ribbon has three products that are open for users to deposit into. The first is a USDC product, the second is a WBTC product, and the third is an ETH product. Because I just used ETH as an example to explain how options work, I'm going to briefly talk about the ETH product first. Before we get started, I do want to just jump in and say that they do have a cap on all of these strategies uh, that changes periodically. So if they're not accepting deposits when you see this video, uh, just wait. They usually add um, availability every week. The reason for this is that they're actually selling these option strategies on a platform called Open right now, which you can access and check out yourself. So they just want to make sure that there's enough demand for the options they're going to be selling on this platform. So the ETH strategy uh, basically works by going on the open market um, and it basically sells very out of the money ETH call options. So as you can see here, the current price of ETH is about $3,200 and the protocol selected a ETH strike price of $5,000. So that means that as long as ETH doesn't hit a price of $5,000 in the next three or so days, uh, this strategy would profit by selling those options contracts um, at a premium to other users. Now, of course, this is something you could do manually, but it would be very gas intensive, it's clunky, you'd really need a lot of knowledge to actually do that. Uh, whereas this protocol does that all for you and then updates the strategy continuously. So you're continuously stacking ETH on top of ETH when you generate a yield. The protocol also lists out different stats like vault performance and then current projected APY. Uh, the current projected APY is based on back testing that they did to see how this strategy would work in practice. Um, it's worth noting that this ETH strategy has a negative 1% or so yield uh, since inception. And that's probably because because the price of ETH has just gone crazy in the last few weeks. At the bottom of the page, they also show all vault activity. So it's quite transparent and you can see uh, which contracts uh, they're opening and which premiums they're actually selling onto the open market. So you can see three days ago, they sold three tranches of options for a strike price of ETH of $5,000 on May 21st. That meant that ETH would basically have to go to $5,000 within a week uh, for this strategy to not be profitable. 
So it's a very interesting strategy, as you can see, and it's not really common in the DeFi space yet. Um, there's obviously a ton of liquidity providing, yield farming, single asset staking, lending, etc. cetera. Um, but this is really an exciting and interesting way to generate yields on uh, these very popular assets. I just showed you all the ETH strategy, but I also wanna quickly go into the WBTC strategy because this one has historically been profitable. Again, these have all only been around for a couple of weeks, but the price of BTC has been more steady, whereas ETH has just gone, as I said, kind of crazy in the last couple of weeks. So we're on the WBTC page and you can see that this strategy returned about one and a half percent yield in just a few weeks. Um, and they also have the projected APY there as well. And of course, they also have the vault activity here as well. So you can see three days ago, they sold three tranches of call options um, for a strike price of $59,000. And I think BTC is at a little over $40,000. So again, that would have to be a pretty large move in just a week for the strategy not to be profitable. There is kind of a risk reward here, right? So if they select a strike price closer to BTC, um, the yield will be higher because that option premium is higher, uh, but there's more likelihood that you would lose money and that the price of BTC would rise and hit that strike price. I do want to mention that these three funds only use 90% of the deposited funds for the covered call strategy. Uh, they actually reserve 10% for withdrawals. So this means that you can usually uh, withdraw anytime you'd like. Just something to keep in mind. And I should also mention there's a withdrawal fee of 0.5%, which is quite modest. Um, and they say this is just to encourage long-term depositors. Now, this whole time we've been talking about what's called a call option, which is when you bet that the price of an asset goes up. Uh, but there's also something called a put option. So if Ethereum is trading at $3,000, you could buy a put option that says Ethereum will hit $2,000 by a certain date. So that's basically what this USDC puts ETH position does. Uh, so you would deposit USDC and you earn USDC, uh, but you're doing that by selling put options on ETH. So this is a great way to get bullish exposure to ETH without actually holding it and just holding the stablecoin. So as long as the price of ETH doesn't decline to the strike price that uh, this protocol sold those options at, you will profit. What's really fascinating, I think this is a great example, is I'm recording this at a time when the price of ETH has gone down pretty significantly. Um, so you can see that the current ETH price is $3,200 and the selected ETH strike was $3,200. So about four days ago when the managers actually opened this position, they probably did not expect the price of ETH would drop that low. Uh, fortunately for this protocol, it hasn't hit that strike price yet, uh, but you can see there's still about four days or three and a half days until this, these contracts expire. So this means that if the price of ETH substantially goes down further, uh, this strategy would have a negative yield for the week uh, because it would have to fulfill those options or those put options on ETH. Now this strategy is of course all in USDC and you can see it's earned about a 1.4% yield since May 6th. Based on back testing, they're projecting about a 40% APY on USDC, uh, which is quite high. And you can see they compare that to the market rates here. It's, it's substantially higher than uh, what you could see in normal lending protocols. Of course, it's all quite transparent and you can see the three contracts that this protocol sold uh, just a few days ago that expire on May 21st. It's really interesting to see how this has actually played out. Uh, so three days ago when they sold these options, the price of ETH was probably about $4,000. So that strike they had set of $3,200 was pretty conservative, right? So no one was expecting uh, a drawdown from $4,000 to under $3,200 in just a week. But of course, crypto is super volatile and uh, it looks like that's actually possible. ETH is hovering right around that price point now. I just thought it was fascinating to point that out and you can see um, the yield generated uh, or the premium generated by selling those options on the open market. Now, if you have found this protocol interesting and something you'd consider investing in, uh, definitely read their official Medium post about how these automated options strategies work. They do really a great job of going through how options work and how this strategy works at a high level. So if there's anything you didn't understand, definitely check out that link. And then of course, you can always come and ask us questions in the Telegram. On another note, I do want to point out that there is no governance token for Ribbon Finance yet. Um, who knows if that's coming in the pipeline? We don't know if there's going to be an airdrop for participants, but something to keep in mind um, because there could be a nice bonus if you do engage with this protocol. Now, of course, I don't have any inside information, uh, but it's just interesting to speculate about. Um, you can also see the other products they have listed coming soon, a volatility product, a principal protection product, and a capital accumulation product. I'm personally really excited to see what strategies they come up with um, and if they add a governance mechanic to the protocol. 
I think the protocol could actually really benefit from that because right now I believe uh, kind of centralized managers pick the strike prices for these strategies, which does just limit the decentralized aspect just a bit. I do think for now though, that's probably the best way to handle it. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe and then turn the bell on if you want to be notified for new videos. And then also if you're interested in joining the Telegram chat, um, I would highly recommend it. It's been extremely valuable for me and I think for everyone involved. Thank you all so much and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.